We have yet another couple from this season of The Bachelorette, Taisha Adams and Zach's engagement was just announced. Will their relationship stand the test of time or like many other Bachelorette couples, they will eventually fall apart? Today I will be answering this question by doing a psychological analysis of their relationship using my couples therapy experience and expertise. If you're watching me for the first time, hi, my name is Prisa. I'm a relationship therapist helping you learn more about the science of relationships and ways to improve your relationship and communication skills. Make sure you subscribe to my channel to see similar videos in the future and without further ado, let's get started. Zach is 36 years old and he has been previously married and divorced. In terms of his romantic interests, he shares that toughness and confidence are incredibly sexy to him. Finding a woman whose entire life isn't wrapped around their relationship is key for him. On the other hand, we have Taisha. She is 30 years old. She has previously dated someone from the same show, which is basically this guy here. And they reportedly split up uh, on October 2019. She's also been previously married and divorced. Here are my initial impressions of Taisha and Zach as a couple. Zach does not seem to be a dominant male. His physicality, the way he talks, and his facial expressions seem soft and vulnerable. Regarding his self-confidence, he doesn't come off as a very confident and self-assured person, at least in front of the cameras. As for Taisha, it seems like she's the more dominant one in the relationship. Also, when she talks about her relationship, I'm not really sure how confident she feels in her own decision to move forward with this relationship. She's actually kind of hard to read as her facial expressions don't give, give away much about her internal state and emotions. So I'm not really sure if I can trust her feelings regarding this relationship and really how confident she is moving forward with her relationship with Zach. Now, this was the opposite with Claire, the person who started at this season of The Bachelorette, where with Claire, you, you would know from her reactions how she feels about her date. Claire would verbally express her feelings and her body language was a 100% match for what she was verbally expressing. Now, in terms of physical chemistry, which is key in any relationship, I feel like Taisha's and Zach's relationship is not screaming 100% physical chemistry to me, at least not in front of the cameras. Maybe internally, they feel this great emotional connection that really can't be seen externally. But what do you guys think about this? Do you think they have a lot of physical chemistry together? Let me know in the comments below what you think. Now, let's focus on the strengths of Zach and Taisha's relationship. Zach shows a great deal of emotional maturity and he's not afraid to appear and be vulnerable, which is key to any successful relationship. Given what he has been through with his brain cancer and the recovery from severe substance abuse, he's really been through hell and has been able to turn his life around. He's also turned his pain point into a self-growth point by establishing an organization supporting people dealing with addiction issues. Automatically, he comes through as someone with a lot of depth of character and really he's gained the ability to empathize with other people's feelings and pain. These are really great things to see and have in a life partner. Now, what makes Zach not a good partner for Tasha? His past drug use. As we know, staying sober and off drugs is a lifelong process and goal. People like Zach need to be actively involved in their own healing to stay off drugs. And the risk factor with people who have dealt with serious addiction issues in the past is that in the future, if they face challenges in their own lives, there is a chance that they may go back to the use of drug use as a way of coping with their difficult emotions. So there's always a chance for a relapse and Zach needs to work extra hard to stay off drugs for the rest of his life. It seems like their emotional connection though is strong enough for Tasha to want to take this risk with him. What about you guys? What do you notice to be the strengths and weaknesses of their relationship? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you agree or disagree with what I'm just stating here in terms of their strengths and weaknesses as a couple. So far, what's standing out to me is that there's somewhat of a connection between them. There are some risk factors here, so I would just give it a 50-50 chance that they'll make it work. Let me know in the comments below if, if you guys think they're going to make it in the long run. To learn more about other relationship patterns that can make or break your relationship, click on the video on the screen and we'll be in touch soon. If you found this video helpful, click the like button and subscribe for future videos.